most of you probably already know how to manually install an APK file on Android. You just download it, tap on it, and that initiates the app installer that's built into Android. But what about APKM files? These aren't able to be launched natively by Android. And if you use a website like APK Mirror and you see a tag labeled bundle, that means that specific APK file is going to be in the APKM format. So today, I want to show you a free and open source application called SAI that will let you install these types of files. So I'm going to assume that you already have an APKM file that you want to install. I recently wanted to update my Google Home application to see if I can activate the update to Gemini. And I found this entry on the APK Mirror website. I almost always go for the regular APK version when it's available, but there are going to be some instances like this where the only option you have is the bundled version of that APK file. So after that APKM file has been downloaded, you'll want to install an application called SAI, also known as Split APK Installer or Split APKs Installer. There's a version that you can download directly from the Google Play Store and there's a version available via F-Droid as well. I'll have both of those linked down below. And once that's installed, we can go ahead and open up the application. Tap on Select Files. We'll use the System File Picker. And we're going to find that APKM file that we recently downloaded. You can see it's for this version of Google Home. And while we can select some of these to install, we're just going to go with the default installation. So we're going to tap on install. Since I already have a version installed, it asks if I want to update it. So I do. you can see we have a loading screen here telling us that the app is currently being installed. After a little bit of time, you'll either get an error message saying that something went wrong, or you'll be told that the application has been installed successfully. And we can confirm that by pulling up that app info page and checking on the version. And just as you would expect, you can install the APKM file directly or use it to update another app that is already installed. And that will work just like any other APK installer that's built into Android. APKM files can actually be looked at as a proprietary format of a bundled APK file that's used by the APK Mirror website. And you'll also find X APK files if you're using a repository like APK Pure. Both are just new file types for the bundled APK files that are supported by Android, but not by the native APK installer that most of us are used to. So for now, we're gonna need a third-party app like SAI, Split APK Installer, to handle the work for us. If you would, please consider giving this video a like, click on that new hype button that YouTube has been advertising lately, and subscribe to the channel too for more Android tips like this.